So in Scotland, the the drug death statistics that we hear every year are just absolutely shocking. It's a humanitarian crisis. Um, I think the words crisis and emergency have lost meaning because we say it every year. But behind these numbers, these thousands of people who have died, that is people's dads and mums, it's, it's husbands, wives, it's, it's brothers, sisters, friends, it's, it's people in our communities. Um, and there hasn't been the outrage in, in Parliament or the political level it needs to be. All the change that we've seen in terms of some progress on policy and additional investment, that's come from people with lived experience. It's come from the recovery community. That's why I'm so pleased to work alongside Favour UK on that, that journey. So we, we have to have a right to recovery bill because right now people don't know what treatment and services they can access. They wait too long when it is available. So we need legislation that locks all of that in so that people know their rights, know how to access their rights, and that the funding will be there so that we have services that are sustainable um, and are fit for purpose. And I think legislation is a way about holding governments and services to account.